For this month's Make and Create, I'm making my own weather station, so I can take measurements every day and see what's going on with the weather outside. I'm going to start by making a rain gauge, and to do this you'll need a plastic bottle, some scissors or a craft knife, some tape, a ruler and a felt tip pen. The first thing you need to do is get an adult to cut the top off the plastic bottle. This requires some sharp scissors or a craft knife, so you want to get some help with this rather than doing it yourself. Once that's done, you can take the top part of the bottle and put it upside down into the bottom part to form a sort of funnel like that. I'm going to take a couple of pieces of tape to keep that into place. If the top of the bottle is a little bit sharp, you can also put some tape around that, but mine seems okay. Now I just need to mark some measurements up the side of my bottle. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to mark off the centimetres up the side of the plastic bottle. If you're finding the felt tip isn't really working on the plastic bottle, you can always put a strip of paper tape up the side and write on that. So I'm just going to add the numbers and then I can measure how much rain we're getting. Next, I'm going to make a barometer which measures air pressure. To do this, I'll need a jar, balloon, elastic band, scissors, pencil and some tape. To start, you want to cut the long end off of the balloon. This is going to give you the round bit at the top which you're going to use to cover your jar. This bit can be a bit fiddly, so you want to check how big your jar is compared to the size of your balloon. And it might take a couple of goes to get that bit of the balloon on top of your jar. You can see I'm having a bit of trouble here. But that's gonna go on there like that. We do want it to be nice and tight, so I'm gonna add an elastic band to keep it into place and make sure that the air inside the jar is sealed off from the air outside. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to tape my pencil onto the top of the jar and as the air pressure outside changes it's going to make the pencil go up and down as it pushes against the jar inside. Finally I'm going to make a windsock which I've got a cardboard tube, some tissue paper, scissors, glue, string, tape and a stick or a straw. To start I'm going to cut some long strips out of my tissue paper, like that. You can use whatever colours you like, I've gone for these nice weathery colours here, like that. And with the rest of my tissue paper I'm going to roughly tear it up into some squares and I'm going to use those to decorate my cardboard tube. So once that's done I'm going to take those little squares of tissue paper and I'm going to start gluing them onto my cardboard tube. You can decorate this however you like. You could always stick some other kind of pattern paper on it or paint or draw on it with some pens, but I'm gonna use up the tissue paper and do it like that, just going round so that I cover my cardboard tube and make it look nice. So that's finished. I'm going to go back to the strips of tissue paper I cut earlier and I'm gonna put some glue on the ends of each strip and then stick them onto the inside of the tube at one end so that it's kind of giving our cardboard tube a tail. So I'm gonna go around, stick them all the way around my cardboard tube like that. And once that's done, they'll be able to flutter down and the wind will catch them on a breezy day like that. Now I just need to take my stick and my string. I'm gonna fold the string in half to find the midpoint and wrap that around the stick a couple of times and then tie it off to make sure that it's secure. Now all you need to do is tape the end of each piece of string to the inside of the tube facing opposite each other. Like that. So now you can put this outside with your rain gauge and barometer and start 
having a look at what's going on with the weather outside and get measuring.